Osaka is considered to be the kitchen of Japan, meaning it has some really great Japanese food. The place I'm going to be taking you today is no exception. However, when you cook in Japanese cuisine, you use a lot of tools. The blowtorch is one of them. And this place takes blowtorches to an entirely new level. Welcome to Izakaya Toyo, started by owner and chef Toyoji Chikumoto in 1992. The Izakaya is on a spot that used to be a parking lot. Toyoji-san opening here because it was behind the restaurant he used to work at. Izakaya Toyo really hasn't changed much since 1992. It's a standing outdoor restaurant, humble furnishings. That means the prices are very reasonable, one reason for its popularity. The daily specials change depending on the season and what's available at the fish market. Customers help themselves to bottles of beer. Take as many glasses as you like. Toyoji-san came to Osaka at age 15 from a small island between Kagoshima and Okinawa called Kikaijima. His izakaya serves seafood. I'll let you hear the recommendations from Toyoji-san himself. Sea urchin and salmon eggs. Okay. Maguro. Tuna. And when the smoke starts rising from the open kitchen, that means he's got his flamethrower out. And when it's out, the customers stop what they're doing to marvel at his skills. Yeah, I said flamethrower, because I don't know what else it can be. In Japanese cuisine, a blowtorch is the closest tool like this used by chefs. It's used to broil specific areas of the food with great detail. But Toyoji-san isn't into precision flames. The art of flamethrower cuisine. Toyoji-san called me over. That means it's showtime. He loads the grill with chunks of maguro. Then his tool of choice is lit, the flamethrower. Flamethrower cooking isn't new, but the way he does it is absolutely unique. Next to the grill is a bucket of ice water where he periodically dips his hand in, so he can still work with the meat without other tools, barehanded. And if your camera is out, be prepared for style points. Here's what it sounds like. It's loud. A reason why most eaters stop and watch. The chef called me over to get a shot of his specialty. Grilled magoro is available until it's sold out, usually between 6 and 8 p.m. Toyoji-san's flamethrower technique is really an art. So now it's time to eat what Toyo-san's been making. Every time he gets that flamethrower out, the entire neighborhood is just filled with smoke, that smell of delicious grilled meat. However, if you do get here during the business hours, you're probably gonna have to wait about 45 minutes, but it's worth it. It's fun and casual. But don't let the simplistic style fool you. 
The food is fresh and outstanding. Getting a course menu set is one of the ways to try all of the specialties. Let's try some of the grilled magaro loaded with green onions. So this is magaro, this is the cheek of it. Let's give this a try. Mm. This is so good. It's so moist, it's very, very tender. Now magaro, you could eat it raw, but when it's blowtorched or flame thrown like it is with this, gives it that, that, that grill taste while preserving the juiciness of it, eating it raw. So it's really good. Some pieces are still raw inside, but it's okay, just like sashimi. Other items on the menu include unagi, eel, maguro maki sushi rolls, ikura and uni plates, umi budo, or sea grapes. This Akami Red Maguro, Ikura and Uni plate is a recommendation. The Uni and Ikura is on top of some sliced maki sushi. If you've never had fresh Uni, sea urchin before, it's the most delicate seafood that you can find. It's one of those seafoods that just, it's, it's so soft and it melts in your mouth the moment it just touches your tongue. I've never had it like that before. Very interesting taste. Wow. That's a lot of ikura on there. The taste of the salmon fish eggs is certainly more important than the rice underneath it, which is why it should be loaded on. It's super easy to make new friends here, which just enhances the total experience of Izakaya Toyo. Amazing seafood, a highly entertaining and talented chef, an electric vibe into the night with friendly people, all connected by delicious food, and a 65-year-old master who always makes sure that each customer leaves with a smile. Next time, we stay in Osaka to try some of their famous okonomiyaki and compare it to Hiroshima's version. Which is better, Osaka or Hiroshima okonomiyaki? If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and check out another one of our shows. Don't miss my second live streaming channel, Only in Japan Go! And check out location photos on Instagram. Mata ne!